Okay, I want to make a video here on basically four concepts all together. Frequency distributions, mean, median, and mode. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do an example of this. So let's say I want to calculate mean, median, and mode from the data. So let me give you some data. This is what we call a frequency distribution. Uh, whenever you have data values that repeat, then you might want to list them in a frequency distribution. So let's, we'll have a, a column for our data. And we'll have a column for our frequency. Okay, so let's say, we'll kind of keep it simple here. Let's say we have five data values. Let's say we have um, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. And then we have frequencies for these. I'll talk about what that means. Let's say I have 5, 10, 11, 8, 3. Okay? All this means is these are your data values, and frequency is how many times each occurs. Okay? So if I were to list, if I were simply to list this data, it would look like this and put it in order, let's say. I'd have a 70, and then I'd have 1, 2, three, four more 70s. So that would be five 70s. I'm just not going to write them all out. That's the whole point of the frequency distribution. So this up here, let me tell you that, is called frequency distribution. Okay. Then I'd have 10 80. So I'd have an 80 and I'd have nine more. You can see why you don't want to list all of these out. Then I'd have 11 90s. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 90s. I'd have 8 100s. Then I'd have 3 110s, which I could certainly list out. Maybe. There we go. So that would be our list of data in order. So if I want the mean, for example, the mean would be the sum of all those, add them all up, divided by how many there are. Okay? Now I could use my list to do that. But that would be absurd, right? Why would I want to add 570s and 1080s, 1190s, etc.? So my sum is simply going to be, well, 570s is precisely 70 times 5. Then I've got 1080, so that's 80 times 10. And then 90, 11 times. And then 100, 8 times. Let's move this over a little bit. And finally, 110, three times. That would be my sum. And then I would divide by how many data values there are. I could certainly count them, or I could just add my frequencies. Okay? If I add my frequencies, then I'd have 15, 26, 34, 37 data values. And you could, you could calculate that rather quickly. And I hope I did this right. I typed it in real quick. And I got approximately 88... 88.4 for the mean, okay? All right, let's talk about the median. The median is simply the middle value. So where is the middle value? Well, there are 37 values here. And what I like to do is think of half of 37. Half of 37 is 
a little bit more than 18. So if I split this into two groups, then I'd have, if I have 37 values, I'll have 18 values on one side, 18 values on the other. That's 36 values. And in the middle, I'll have one value. So my median, my middle value will be this one value here, which happens to be the 19th value when I list them in order. So now I just have to figure out my 19th value. So I've got 570s, 1080s, so this is my 15th value. Okay? So 90 is 16, 17, 18. Here's my 18th. And so my 19th value is this guy right here, which is a 90. So my median will be 90 in this problem, my 19th value. Finally, mode. Mode is the value that shows up most, so most frequent. That's the easiest. In this case, 90 shows up 11 times, so 90 is also my mode. Okay, so you can see the mean, the median, and the mode are all pretty close to one another. That's a, this is, a, I think, a good video to summarize frequency distributions, mean, median, and mode. I hope it makes sense.